Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the new year, I decided I'd start something new. Um, now, and, and, and those of you who have been following me on Twitter will already know I was thinking of doing Knights of the Old Republic LP. Um, and yes, in before all the comments about, oh great, another series he won't finish. Um, sorry guys, I, I hold no obligation to myself to finish any series I do on YouTube. I play the games as long as they're still fun, and then and when they stop being fun, I stop playing them like any other human being. So, uh, deal with it, basically. But anyway, right, bunch of technical garble out to get get that out of the way first. Um, you may be watching this in 1080p, um, depending on how I d this ended up rendering in the end. Um, however, you will probably notice that the, the video quality is not terrifically amazing. Maybe a little fuzzy here and there. The reason for that is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is a game that is really, 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 really annoying to try and record properly. Um, it just, oh god, every other like recording software I've tried to use this game with, it just does not want to work um, at all. So it certainly doesn't want to work whereby I can record the game and the cutscenes properly anyway. Um, so where essentially what I'm doing right now is I'm actually playing the game in windowed mode in a 1600 by 900 resolution, which is then upscaled to 1920 by 1080 by OBS, which is recording it as I speak to you. God damn, it's annoying, but, you know, okay, it's the only way I, I seem to be able to record the game, so I will just deal with it. Sometimes you get games like this, um, they just, they just do not like being recorded properly, um, and this is the best I can do, so apologies if, if the video quality is maybe not quite as good as it could be, because it is upscaled slightly from a lower resolution, apologies for that, but, oh well, not much I can do, I'm afraid, anyway. Here it is, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, which is a Star Wars RPG made by Bioware. I won't explain any more than that, because we've got the good old Star Wars intro to do that for me, effectively. Um, all I'll say is that I actually originally intended on playing uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, which was made by Obsidian, and I, I actually slightly prefer over this game. They're both excellent, but I do slightly prefer KOTOR 2. However... Code or 2 is full of a bunch of spoilers for the first game, so I figured it wouldn't really be very fair if I played Code or 2 first and then ruined the plot for everyone who hadn't played this game. So, we're going to start with this, under the proviso that eventually, provided I finish this, which I hopefully will, because it's a very, very good game and it's one of my favourites. I used to play it a hell of a lot back in the day. Um, hopefully, we'll get on to number 2 and then we'll play number 2 as well. Uh, as a kind of a two-part thing. So there you go. Anyway, enough is enough. New game. Let's get on with this. I've also, I'm afraid, I've already recorded this once today. The first attempt was a complete and utter failure, which resulted in a black screen um, for the entire video. So, and that effectively is how I found out. This game does not like to be recorded. If it can possibly help it. So anyway, here we are. Right, so... In order to spice this up a bit, I'm going to pick classes, and yes, plural, um, that I normally wouldn't do. Um, for example, I think today we're going to be a scoundrel, because I've never played as the scoundrel class in Knights of the Old Republic. Um, well, yeah, no, I haven't. I don't, think, I don't think I have, looking back. No, I haven't. So, you know, it's a game I've played many times, but I think I'll shake it up a bit by playing a character class I've never bothered with before. So, let me, I'm going to try and speed through this a bit, I'm afraid, guys, because I've already done this once. Apologies if it seems a bit rushed. A bit pressed for time this afternoon, you see, as a result of this. So, Anyway, that's the head I picked originally. Attributes. I think it was something like this. I'm not too sure. Um, there we go. Something along the lines of that, I think, was what I went with in the end. Skills. It basically, like, if it, it, it uses a kind of Dungeons & Dragons-esque system, this game. I'm not bothering to explain this very much, but um, if you've played Dungeons & Dragons or any game that uses that kind of system, it will it will be fairly straightforward. You know, we've got strength, constitution, willpower, blah, 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 blah. Wisdom, even, not willpower, but hey. Um, so, I'm going to go with computer use, stealth, awareness, uh, treat injury, security, repair, and no points in persuasion, because we are not a terribly charismatic fellow. Um, as you will know, our, our charisma is a measly 10. This gentleman, is a, he may be a rogue, a, you know, a smuggler or whatever, based on his class, but he's not a very smooth-talking rogue, we'll put it that way. Feats. These are the ones we get for being a scoundrel. 
I'm going to pick an extra one, which is going to be, I think, probably Gearhead, maybe? No, actually, I will go with Weapon Focus Blaster Pistol. There we go. Gives us a plus one attack bonus with Blaster Pistols. Very good. Now, name is Brian, with a Y, because it's slightly more Star Wars-y. No surname, just Brian. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. And so it begins. Welcome to the tutorial. The Endar Spire? What? Who? What's, what's going on? Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Uh, what? No, <laughs> forget it, mate. I'm I'm looking after my own skin. You swore an oath to protect Bastila when you signed up with this mission, just like everyone else in the crew. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know she may not have an official rank in the fleet, but she's the one in charge of this mission, and it's our duty to protect her. I know all about your reputation. How he used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. But now that you signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Uh, but, uh, right, okay, first things first, I don't remember agreeing to any oath. And, and I, I'm, I don't know how drunk I was at the time, but... I don't care, I'm going to the escape pods. Ta-ta! Don't be stupid. You won't stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this alive. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay. <sighs> right, there we go. Got all our stuff. Now if I remember the buttons, yet yeah, you. Weirdly for equipment. So we wanna equip our blaster pistol. Clothing, shell field generator, and I think that's kind of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. 
Trask has joined your party, blah 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 blah, Tor tutorial stuff. Room is in lockdown, but don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Use you to unlock the... Are you... Are you implying that I should use your head as a battering ram or something? Because that can be arranged. <sighs> right. You always get um, yeah, I've, I've just noticed that my HUD seems to have fucking disappeared. Like, that's not good. Yeah, it's sort of clipping off the edge of the screen. Oh, God. One moment. Okay, that's definitely an improvement. I actually have my heads-up display now, which means I can actually switch to Trask and get him to open the door. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Um... But basically, for those that don't know, I'm using a, a widescreen mod to get it to run in 16x9 resolution like this. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Uh, yes. Uh, what was I? Yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm using a widescreen mod, and the widescreen mod was sort of not, not quite working properly there. I've fixed it now, though, so anyway. Um, let's move out. Get off this spaceship! It's gonna explode! You too! I would really strongly advise you don't try and fix that leaky whatever that is. No problem. Got it. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. Uh, what? Oh, hello, boys. Um, well, this is awkward, isn't it? I didn't really want to um want to fight you guys, but um, you know, I'm afraid it looks like my pal here has made that decision for me. Oh, well, there we go. I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. We? Our? More like, my med packs, and you're not getting any of them. Matey. Oops, one grenades. Oh! Bad luck. <sighs> ah. Uh, let's go with you first. Using the sniper shot ability, which I got for being a scoundrel at the start. I forget exactly what it does, but I'm using instead of the regular attack most of the time. And I'm also on incredibly low health. Ouch. Uh, let's fix that, shall we? Is that, on, was I on low health then because I got damaged, or is that because the tutorial decided to put me on low health so I could, you know, to do the whole med pack thing? Alright, metal box. Show me your secrets. Oh, it's med pack and 10 credits. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, there we go. Grenade. And we already searched this, didn't we? No, we didn't. Okay, right. Oh, combat suit. Excellent. Gonna need that. For sure. There we go. It, um... It's not much of an improvement visually, but, you know, it might stop me from getting killed, so... Well, um, any particular reason we didn't get involved in that fight before all the Republic soldiers were killed, Trask? I'm just saying, that was maybe a bit silly of us, hanging up at the back it. Oh god, god, here we go. Right, grenade! Oh, get in! Get him, Trask! Uh, you know what? I'll just do the shooting, shall I? You can just stand there and distract their fire. That probably works better. 
Wow, okay. Apparently I, I was taught to shoot by Imperial Stormtroopers because I'm sure showing that bit of floor there who's boss. Yes, tutorial stuff. No way to turn that off as far as I'm aware, to be honest with you, so I'm kind of stuck with it. Unless... No? No? Okay. Damn it. Ugh. Nothing more annoying than tutorial boxes in a, in a game you already know how to play, eh? Okay. Oh, more Get out of the way! Move your stupid hair, head and with your stupid haircut out of the way, man, when I'm trying to loot stuff. Good god. Ooh, pop smile. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Point, poignant reminder there that this, this ship is possibly about to explode, and maybe I shouldn't go running around looking for bits of loot to grab, but... Oh, good heavens. It's a dark Jedi! This bike is too much for us! We better stay back! All we do is get in the way. That seems to have been the order of the day so far, hasn't it, Trask? Ah! That was one of the Jedi accompanying <laughs> Bastor. Damn, we could have used her help. Oh dear. Evidence that even if I feel like I'm having a terrible day, there's always someone who's having a worse one. Um Yeah, yeah, dear, yeah, stay back. And get and stay out of the way, Trask. Really, I mean, you know, as opposed to all the other fights so far, where we got stuck in right away before everyone else was killed. Yeah, no, you, oh, you idiot. Choose something other than the floor. You know what? You sniper shot. It's the only way I seem to hit stuff. You bloody healed yourself. You. Waste of ammo. Oh, not the blasters have ammo, come to think of it. Med pack. Remains. Vibrations. <laughs> well, and an adrenal strength, yeah. Vibration. So. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure that joke's already been made before, never mind. Um. Right. And adrenal? What was that? Drugs! Oh, fantastic! Yum, yum! Uh, it's one of those days, Trask. I'm sorry, it's just one of these days. Sometimes, sometimes you just, just have to inject yourself with your stimulants. It's... There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should equip a melee weapon, too. Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. I'm sorry, what? It's suicide to use a blaster pistol in close... You know, that like, the, the very situation a pistol is designed for... Uh, what if they have lightsabers? Your melee weapon is made using a cortosis weave. It's strong enough to stand up against anything, even a lightsaber. Really? Yes. Oh, oh, of course. My, 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 my bad. I forgot. Uh, it's uh, they're made of the that most rare and precious of metals. Um, plot holinium. You know what, Trask? You can you can do the whole. You you, you can do the whole, run around and stab people with a pointy stick thing. I'm going to actually use the, yes my gun. We'll be fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Good heavens. Right, run. <laughs> go on, go on, Trask. Get stuck in. You useless bastard. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Go for him. Go for the big, really Republic soldier guy. There we go. I'll just hang around at the back here. And... Bastel is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastel alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, it's kind of what I was saying to begin with, Trask. Forget whoever she is. Get to the sodding escape pod. Look, it's already exploding. Come on, let's go. Wow. Okay, don't don't look out the windows. Not unless you want to vomit anyway. Locked. What? Um. Right. Backpack. Almost forgot that. If I can actually. Seriously? Why? Why can't I? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, forgot what's been level up. Okay, well we'll do that now then, I guess. Except apparently my What the hell? Why is my Master was not Yeah, yeah, okay. I just my my mouse button doesn't want to work. Oh my god, this game is just 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 fucking trying my patience at the minute. Okay, we got a blaster pistol from that. Why the hell can't I level up? Let me live. Auto level up? No. Okay. What? It's not. How do I level up? Yeah. Good question. Considering, you know what? Let me just. I've saved. Quick saved. I'll load the quick save, and hopefully that'll fix it. Uh, oh, no, no. There we go. Right. Okay. Don't know what that was about. All right. We'll have point in stealth, awareness, security, um, demolitions. I guess because I don't want to put points into persuade. Although, unfortunately, this game is a bit like it's a bit like Fallout. Really, you know, it's sort of you. You it, some certain occasions you you kind of run out of put places to put your points in, and you end up putting it into skills you didn't actually want, but you have to have, because, you know, anyway. We'll pick a feat. Um, sneak attack, we got that because we're a scoundrel. Toughness? Maybe. Dueling? Maybe. One-handed, single one-handed weapons. I like that, I think that's kind of my style, I'll go with that. It gives us a plus one to attack and plus one to defense. Excellent, so... Charging around with a blaster pistol seems to be my thing. Here we go. There's something behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you. Uh, good luck. Cheers, but cheers, buddy. Pre appreciate it. You. You uh, chump. Ugh. This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past him. Okay. Right. I believe I just hit... There we go. I got my magic uh, stealth belt on, so I can. Uh, oops, I can uh, go invisible, which is pretty neat. Now, here's a question: Does you know what? Screw you, dude. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I've been wondering if sneak attack works for blasters, or if that's a merely weapons-only thing. Either way. Go ahead and open this door and... Oh, hello, gentlemen. I'll just, uh... Oh! Whoa, okay! You know what? Catch. There we go. Any minute now. Gotta love that. I can't help but notice those horrifying windows. A whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Alright, uh, okay. Well, what have we got here then? Oh, how convenient! A big pile of computer spikes and repair parts. Very good. Uh,. Let's have a look. You starboard transport module. Ah, yeah, hello. I don't really fancy my chances against that lot, to be fair. Overload power conduit. Oh, okay. 
And now, Sith Troopers, you will die! <laughs> oh. Sorry, uh, sorry there, combat droid. Maybe another time. We got an ion blaster and a prototype vibro blade, I think, there. And uh, what have you got for me? Credits and a pair of concussion grenades. Very good. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Who the hell are you? I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. Sensible man. Let's get, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Uh, right, um, yeah, yeah, well, I'm Brian. Pleased to meet you. How did we get here? Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. They did the Sith. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. B uh, Bastila, she's um yeah, yeah. Chick from the from the from the from the starship, gotcha. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. We. We. I, I hope for your sake, mate, you're using the royal we. Uh... Yeah, get, forget it, chum. I'm out. I'm out of here. I've got to get out of escape pod free card here. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gone, dude. I'm gonna disappear into, you know, probably the nearest cantina or something. I, I, yeah. Good, good, good luck. Have fun. But, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to fight some sort of war, you, you lunatic. I don't think you understand the situation. But well, we can't hide on this planet forever. Eventually the Sith will find us, and trust me, you don't want that. Getting off this world isn't going to be easy. We're probably going to need Bastila's help. Not to mention that without her, the whole Republic war effort is doomed. Uh, what? But, uh, wait, wait, what? Come on, she, all right, look, she's a Jedi, okay? Look, she can now look after herself. She doesn't need us running around getting ourselves shot to bits. Basila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important. But if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Basila won't have. 
She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. Bastil is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. I thought you just said that we wouldn't be able to stay here because they'd be looking for us. And now you're saying they're not going to be looking for us because we're not... What? Uh, yeah, any, anyway, besides, you know, if, if she's so bloody great, how come the Sith managed to blow up the, the sodding Endar Spire in the first place? I mean, come on! Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's going to escape Terrace, she's going to need our help, and we'll probably need hers. Uh, well... What's in it for me if I help you out? You mean, besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you, do you, do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war? Yeah, but, you know, if you want me to help you, you know, you've still got to make it worth my while. I mean, jeez, I could go out there, find Bastila, drag her over to the Sith and say, hey, can I have a reward, please? I could, I could defect. I really, I don't have a problem with that. You know, these Sith, they, they, they seem to, you know, I, I, I know a winning side when I see it. Okay, all right. Oh, I get it. Never mind that the Sith will destroy the Republic and ravage the galaxy. You're only in this for the credits. Don't worry, the Republic pays its mercenaries well. You help me find Bastila, and they'll make it more than worth your while, I'm sure. Plus, it might be your only chance to get off Terrace. Oh, you know what? If it means getting off this planet and away from you specifically, I guess I can help you find Bastila. Good. We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Oh, come on then. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. And we can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. <sighs> Keep a low profile, so, uh... I guess that means no disintegrations then. Uh, oh yes, workbench. Yes, yes, yes. I can upgrade weapons, etc., etc. You guys get the idea, I'm sure. I'm not going to run through all the tutorial stuff with you guys just for the sake of, you know. Anyway, we can upgrade this with the vibration cell we got earlier, which gives us slightly, yeah, plus two physical damage, which is cool. I, I don't really see myself using melee weapons a tremendous, a tremendous amount, but there it is. Yep, and since this is the first time we're leaving, we'll have to take Karth, etc, etc. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a ray! Oh, dude, dude, don't, don't argue with the man with the robots and blaster rifle, just don't... <sighs> That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. I think he had it coming, now really. the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! That's a bit of a leap of logic. You know what? Enjoy. Merry Christmas. Won't someone come looking for this patrol? Mamuli 
Tong Dong Bong Chang Yung Yang. Tong Kato Smack Delia. Alright, mate, but, um, I'm just saying, you know, like, I, okay, you're moving the bodies, one, that's one thing, but what about the big, you know, explosion mark on the, on the ground? You're gonna need, you're gonna need a lot of Windex. That's all I'm saying. Uh, ooh, blast rifle, frag grenade, poison grenade, adrenal, oh, drugs! Uh, you know what? Cough, buddy. I'm, um... I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go back in there. I'll, I'll be right out. Trust me. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back.